So tell us a little bit about your experience with driverless vehicles and how that is now translating over to autonomous vehicle in the warehouse environment. My background is in technology. I'm a technologist and in robotics in particular, we did a research for NASA, robots for lunar and Mars exploration. That was a lot of fun. We actually had some software that flew to Mars. We did a lot of research for the Army and Department of Defense because they were an early adopter of autonomous robots for obvious reasons. You want to take the humans out of harm's way. So that was a lot of research into off-road navigation of mobile robotics. I eventually left MIT to form a startup called Newtonomy. That was one of the first venture-backed startups focused on fully driverless cars, so robotic taxis, basically. And we grew that business through some twists and turns, acquisition and joint venture formation to eventually over a thousand headcount. We raised almost $3 billion in capital by the time things were said and done. And the robo-taxi space is actually very similar, believe it or not, to the AMR space in a warehouse. When you have a robo-taxi on a public road, the technology that's powering that robotaxi is quite similar to what's powering an autonomous forklift. It's what we call a sense, plan, act architecture. The robot's looking out at the world. In the case of a robotaxi, it's seeing where the traffic lights are and where the pedestrians are, etc. In the case of a forklift, obviously, you're primarily looking for well, other pieces of material handling equipment and human workers, etc. But you're perceiving the world. You're planning what to do where you should navigate, and then you're acting on it. You're sending actual drive commands to your motors. And so from a technical perspective, very similar. I was excited to join Vecna you know, from the autonomous driving space because I'm just a huge believer both in the business and in the industry. You know, This is an industry, I, I'm preaching to the choir here, but it's an inevitable industry. That's how I would characterize it. I mean, we know that automation will increasingly penetrate the warehouse space because it's the right thing to do. These are jobs that are difficult to find human workers for. The labor cost is expensive. These can be dangerous jobs. And automation, it just solves so many of those pain points. So I know the tech, it's kind of in my DNA. I love the space. I knew the business. 